Alright, so here's what your end game gear is going to look like. This thing is a PSG, or personal shield generator. This thing will take up your belt slot. It allows for an armor attachment of 35s and gives protection against ranged attacks until it runs out, then it has to recharge after combat. So everything but your shirt, chest, and weapon. Your PSG, your boots, your legs, your gloves, your bracer, your other bracer, bicep, your other bicep, and your helmet. All of those allow for attachments with 35s of attributes only, so no stat mods such as rifle damage, crit chance increase, whatever. Only things like constitution, precision, luck, etc. However, your shirt, chest, and weapon allow what I call exotic attachments, so they can have stat mods in them or attributes, like you could get rifle damage, luck, you know, whatever you want. Food and drinks, like this Breath of Heaven right here, giving 211 constitution and 3% dodge chance. There's a bunch of foods to choose from and they all give beneficial stats and attributes. Armor, clothing, and weapon power-ups. They attach to your shirt, chest, and weapon for a duration, and they can have attributes or stat mods. Now for your backpack slot, you can go with a bandolier and a clothing attachment, or you can go with a heroic backpack, which are bought or looted from certain heroic bosses, such as this ace field pack right here from the Lost Star Destroyer Heroic. And right here is an example of what the attachments can look like before you put them onto your gear. What you should do when you hit level 90 is go to Aurelia, get your heroic prequest done, and get into heroic instance groups so you can start working towards your 5 piece heroic jewelry set. 5 piece heroic jewelry sets give special abilities, attributes, a boost towards certain things that will be beneficial for your class in PvE or PvP, and they're different for every profession and you got like 3 or 4 to choose from, so it's a definite must have for end game content. Keep in mind that all this stuff can be bought with credits as far as your five piece. Most people have a go-to person for their attachments for custom orders. Maybe somebody can recommend somebody to you if you don't already or your guild could help you out with that. You don't necessarily have to make a trader and grind out all the junk loot and make it yourself. Also keep in mind that you have complete control over your build and your stats and your exotics and power ups and everything that goes into it. You don't have to listen to other people that want to force a build upon you because it works for them. Do what works for you and your goals and your intentions with that build whether it be PvE or PvP, your profession, people saying you have to have this certain stat or you suck or something like that. Like somebody says that you have to have precision. Well, guess what? For a full suit of 35s, precision gives about 3% crit chance. Big deal. Maybe I want more action to continue using my abilities when you can't because you're out of action. So go with uh, go with whatever feels right for you and that you're you can be successful with. But anyway, good luck. Have fun. Peace.